Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. I'm Teresa with Yellow Daisy and I'm so excited to share this DIY with you. So today I'm doing the Look for Less Challenge hosted by Yami over at the Latina Next Door and her co-host this month is Jessica with Measure and Mix. For this challenge, Yami asks that you find a high-end home decor item that you love and do a DIY budget friendly dupe for that item. I knew that I wanted to do something for our holiday Christmas decor so I started looking on the Pottery Barn website and I found this. At that price $129, I knew that I could duplicate that look for much, much less. I just loved the aged, antiqued effect on this mirror. So I started doing research and trying to figure out how I can achieve that look. And I saw some tutorials that showed using muriatic acid. And to be honest, I was a little scared about using muriatic acid. So then I started thinking about another way to achieve this look. And I think I came up with the perfect solution. So let me stop talking and show you what I did. My first stop was at the thrift store and I found this perfect frame. The Pottery Barn frame was 27 by 36, which was a little bigger than what I wanted, so this size worked perfect for my space. Then I needed to get the perfect red color craft paint, and I decided to go with this chalk paint. I found this mirror effect spray by Rust-Oleum at Home Depot and I know it's not a new discovery for the DIYers here on YouTube but I thought that I would give this a shot. Once I finished spray painting the mirror I took a paper towel and dabbed it in random areas to kind of give it that antiqued aged look. I then took the cardboard piece from the back of the frame and painted it with acrylic black paint. And I did this so that the spots that I dabbed the mirror effect off on the mirror this black would show through and hopefully give it that aged antique look and then i took a sanding block and just kind of sanded around the frame a little bit to give it that worn look and I was so excited to see that it actually did look aged and antiqued. And then it was time for my daughter Courtney to do her magic on her Cricut vinyl machine.
And here is my Look for Less Pottery Barn Inspire DIY. I am so thrilled at how this project turned out. And as you'll notice, I only spent $17 to duplicate this mirrored Christmas art found at Pottery Barn. I really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and if you did, please give it a big thumbs up and if you are not subscribed to our channel, hit the subscribe button along with that notification bell so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. I want to thank Yami and Jessica for hosting this challenge and I look forward to participating in more of these challenges. I will list the playlist along with Yami's and Jessica's channel below in the description box. Until next time, friends. Bye-bye.